Alright, let's tilt your head to the side this way just a little bit. Perfect. Doing great. He's having a birthday coming up. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking and sharing with you my experience getting my conch pierced. So before I get into anything, I'm just going to go ahead and insert the footage of getting it pierced. Um, my boyfriend was kind enough to come along, hold my hand, and film the process. Um, I was super nervous beforehand, but I really didn't have anything to be nervous about. Um, I was in good hands and the piercing was over so fast. So I'm going to insert the footage and then I'm going to talk over pain, cleaning, um, experience, sleeping, um, and just kind of all of that, just my experience with it. So I'm gonna insert the footage in here so you guys can watch me getting my conch pierced. How you feeling? I'm nervous. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. What are you getting today? Conch piercing. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds exciting. Yeah. I'm ready to get it over. should check that mark out in the mirror. Make sure that you like where it's at. And you're not allergic to anything, are you? That's what I'm aware of. <laughs> okay. We use latex gloves and what I cleaned you off with before that is just iodine. So so. This way just a little bit. Perfect. Doing great. He's having a birthday coming up. So perfect. Thanks, John. Put the head on and we'll be done, okay? Alright. Easy peasy. You're like, says the person piercing, not <laughs> getting the piercing. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Little procedure. It's like a little bee sting? I've never been stung by a bee, but maybe. Really? Me neither. <laughs> I'm allergic to it. So Me too, man. Yeah. Straight up, yeah. They say if I ever got stung, I'd go into anaphylactic shock or something. Yeah, I got an EpiPen in the refrigerator of that. For real? Yeah, just in case, you know? Yeah, you never know. Alright, we're just going to tighten the head on this piece of jewelry. So it doesn't come out. Or something on it. Yeah. Right, turn your head towards the camera just a little bit. There we go. You can get in there and take a little close up if you want to, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's great. See, there it is. A little cluster. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Feeling good? Give me a thumbs up. Nice. Okay, so you can see from the footage, like, it was really, really fast. Like, it was over in the blink of an eye, and I just didn't even know what happened. I was sort of in shock by how fast it was. Um, pain level, I would rate it, it was probably about, like, a 4 out of 10. Um, Pain-wise, like, actually getting it pierced. So that's not really bad at all. And like it was over in less than a minute. And then when we left, it barely even hurt. Like there was just a little bit of a burning sensation, which if you've got a piercing, you kind of know what I'm talking about. It's just kind of heat. So I decided to get a little diamond cluster um, post piercing. Um, I really wanted to get the hoop because I think the, the little hoop looks really cute in the conch piercing and plus I um, have uh, my earlobes pierced like a double piercing on my earlobes and I wear hoops in those so I just feel like it's gonna look really cute when I put a hoop in the conch piercing but from my research and talking to my piercer um, I decided that it was best just to get the post piercing because it heals a lot faster and um, the pain is easier and plus, what my um, piercer said is that you have to kind of put in a bigger hoop when you pierce with the hoop for your conch piercing to allow for swelling. So it kind of sags a little bit and a lot of people don't like that. So I just decided, you know what, let's just do the post, let it heal easy and cleanly and not have any problems. And then I will go in. He said I probably could come back in like three months and get it changed out. Now I know for cartilage piercings, it usually takes... I think it's different for every person, but anywhere from six months to a year. So I'm just going to have to feel it out and see if it feels healed enough by like three months to go and get the hoop in. I'm not really in a rush because honestly, I really love the little diamond cluster I have in my conch piercing. I think it looks adorable and I'm obsessed with it. So my biggest concern going into it, honestly, was how it was going to be sleeping at night. 
which sounds kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like I wasn't that concerned about the paint or anything. I was just concerned if it was going to be absolute like turmoil trying to sleep at night with this piercing and if it was gonna be like super painful. And sleeping has not been a problem. Like you just kind of figure out, how, cause you don't wanna sleep on your ear for while it's healing, basically. And so I was like, how is that gonna work? But honestly, you just kind of figure out your own way of sleeping. I sleep mostly on my left side. Um, I kind of just bend my arm and lay that on my bed and then I lay on my arm. So my ear's kind of falling through the empty space between my arm um, and my bed. And that was kind of how I slept the first night. Um, and then the other night I kind of, you just kind of move your pillow so you're sleeping on the edge of it and your piercing's not like a lot of pressure cause you don't want to put a lot of pressure and you don't want to get like it all squished and all of that. Um, the one night I did sleep on it just a little bit and I woke up and it wasn't really sore or anything but there was just a little bit of dried blood that I just had to clean up. But that's really been the worst of it like I haven't cleaning it has been easy I haven't had like any pus or any crusting or anything like it's been super clean um the first night there was like on the pain scale there was just a slight throbbing in my ear but never anything over like a one on a pain at one out of ten on a pain scale so pain has really been easy and I'm so grateful for that I don't know if it's just me if I have a high pain tolerance or what um, and I feel like I do kind of have a high pain tolerance, but I also feel like it just got pierced really well and I'm doing my best not to touch it and just keep it really Okay, clean. and as for cleaning it, um, I really just am doing salt water soaks. Like that is the best thing, like a saline solution soaking. So I just get a little mug, fill it up with water, warm water. So I usually fill it up with some like purified water, pop it in the microwave for like 40 seconds, put some sea salt. You want sea salt, non-iodine, iodized salt and um, probably about half a teaspoon of sea salt in your cup of water, stir it. And then I have my mug and I just dip my ear into my mug and wait for five minutes. So it's super easy, um, really no problem with that. Uh, it, it hurts my neck holding my head like this for five minutes, but it's worth it. And then um, I just take a paper towel and blot it dry and make sure that there's nothing crusty or anything around it. Um, I read not to use Q-tips or any fuzzy cottony product or like um, cleaning item because that the little fibers can come off of it and get stuck in the piercing and cause like infection. So I'm just doing everything I can to keep it clean and not cause infection. So I'm not using any Q-tips because I read and heard that that was not good. So I'm just using like a paper towel or like some toilet paper or something that just doesn't have fibers that are gonna get loose and get stuck in the piercing. Um, and then when I shower, I just let the water run over it. Maybe take just a little bit of unscented soap, suds it up and just wash it out and then rinse it out really well. And also with the sea salt soak, after I soak it in the sea salt water for five minutes, um, I dump that water out and I get some clean purified water and then I just, um, run that over my ear again because you don't want any of the sea salt just sitting on it because it's going to dry out your ear. Um, so that's pretty much it for the cleaning process. It's super easy. Um, I do the sea salt soak once in the morning and once at night and then when I shower you know just kind of clean it off so about once a day. Um, but yeah pretty much the biggest thing is not touching it not especially not touching it with dirty hands not messing with it just leave it alone like the less you touch it and mess with it the faster healing process is going to be so that's what I'm doing I mean it's only been a few days since I've got it done so but so far I've not really had any problems so yeah that's pretty much been like the whole experience of it it has been really great um I absolutely love this piercing I think it looks adorable and I've had some of my friends saying that like mm, I think I might get that now because they think it looks really cute. So um, would I recommend it? Yes. Make sure you go to a good like tattoo piercing shop that they're going to do it with a needle and just that it's sanitary and all of that. Um, just do your research. Make sure you know that the piercer is good and just go for it. Like don't overthink it. Just do it. If you really want to do it, like just handle the experience as it is. It's different for everyone and hopefully for you it wouldn't be bad like it hasn't been for me. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions about the conch piercing that I kind of didn't answer, ask them below and I will do my best to respond and answer um, any questions you might have. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.